Hey everyone, Tony here, JP Wisco back with another quick video for you. So today, pretty straightforward, I'm just going to show off a few cool cards. Uh, so let's get it going. Uh, some of these are new pickups. Uh, some of them are just ones that I kind of had in my collection that I wanted to show off. So first up, we got this sweet pink Anthony Rendon, 2018 Bowman Chrome. Pink Refractor, awesome looking card. I love the picture on this. It just has a nice sort of oomph for like movement to it. He's got the like jerry curls flying in the wind. Looks pretty dope. So, Pink Refractor. Uh, got this cool Tim Lincecum Bowman rookie card. With the Bowman cards, it seems like Tops kind of goes on a, a kick for a few years where they kind of pick a general-looking design and then just kind of go with it for a while. And this was in the middle of, like, uh... So you know how you might know that the painter Picasso had what was known as his blue period? This was, like, Bowman's green period, I swear. Because there was a few years where they all the cards had this, like, green border. Um, probably the most well-known, like, the 2011 Trout has that border. Um, and nowadays, I think Bowman cards, they all have kind of the similar year by year. Each design kind of looks like... Um, like an ESPN intro screen or something. It's all like robotic and like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I noticed that about Bowman, but speaking of Bowman, here's an awesome card. Christian Yelich, first Bowman, base paper. I was uh, commenting on uh, Scott, Scotty Tradition's uh, recent video where he shows off the uh, refractor auto of this card. And I was always saying how I just, I'm kicking myself because I didn't pick that up when I had the chance. Um, I considered getting the Refractor Auto uh, when Yelich first signed with the Brewers a couple years ago. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Yelich, he's a pretty good player. So, and now he's a Brewer, so I, I should pick that up. Um, and I think at the time, it was like 150 bucks or something. <laughs> And now it's definitely a band or more for that card, so I'm pretty... I'll always kick myself for that one. But this is cool, too. Just the base paper. I like having it. That's a new pickup. Uh, let's see here. Digging through uh, Tops Fire. I got this Acuna from 2018 Tops Fire. Or as Beavis and Butthead used to say, Fire! Fire! Um... Yeah, I kind of like fire. It's not for everyone, but um, I don't know. It's all right. And then from the following year, here's the Fernando Tatis Jr. Had this laying around, didn't realize I had it either. Like I said, that's always fun, finding those cards you didn't realize you had. Uh, next up is a pretty cool card I've had for a while, but I don't think I've ever showed it. Here's a, a Japanese national team, Samurai Japan Shohei Otani. Uh, and this is from Kalbi, uh, which is a chip manufacturer, and this is 2017. So this is his final year in Japan before he came to the major leagues. Um, and these cards are pulled from little packs that are included on bags of chips, little snack size bags of chips. Um, I just bought this in a card shop, but uh, you, you can always, every year, uh, the, the chip, the snack food manufacturer, Kalbi, usually does a few releases. Uh, they do like a Samurai Japan, like a Japanese national team release where you can get these kinds of cards in them where the players are wearing the Samurai Japan national team uh, uniform. And then they just have another release that's just the Japanese leagues in general, uh, so you can get the standard teams, like the Giants or the Tigers. Um, so yeah, I think this is a pretty sweet card. Uh, Shohei Otani, Kalbi. Uh, cool, cool refractor pattern on that. It's like a disco. All right, uh, this is one I've also had for a while. Um, a pretty cool looking card, Prince Fielder Auto, um, from 2007. Um, 
back when the the stickers were kind of the sticker autos were more obvious you know now they have like the clear sticker um but back then the the sticker was sort of like uh what am i trying to say foil looking um weirdly i kind of like it better uh, than the clear ones i'm not sure you know i don't know if it's a sticker auto just own it i guess right don't try to look like it's not a sticker auto um the sticker autos don't bother me as much as they bother other people. I don't know. I don't sweat them too much. An auto's an auto. Obviously, the on-card is a little better, but um, I don't mind the stickers either. Okay, uh, next up, cool card. Uh, recent, another Japanese uh, vintage card pickup. This is a beautiful card. Look at this picture. Um, and this is another card of uh, Fumio Fujimura. Uh, who was a remarkable player. I did a video about him. Go check that out if you didn't see it. He was a two-way player, a player manager, um, Japanese Hall of Famer. Here's the back. This card is just in immaculate condition for a, you know, uh, 50s card, the sharp corners. It's just really crisp. Um, the cardstock on this is really thin. It's not quite paper. It's a little thicker than paper, but... So it's pretty remarkable that this card has stayed in such good condition, especially the corners and stuff. Pretty cool card. Awesome artwork there. Okay, uh, next up, this is a recent pickup. Happy to add this one. I got this awesome whammy Bryce Harper from 2017 Donruss. Check this shine out. Woo! So these cards are awesome. They're case hits. Um, and uh, I just love the artwork on them. They, they evoke kind of those, you know, those like from in the 90s, those like sports shirts with like caricatures on them were popular in like the 80s and 90s. And they, you know, they had the big heads and the little bodies. I remember the Bulls ones being really popular when I was a kid. Um, and yeah, so these kind of evoke that. I think these are super creative and cool. Um, and it's just one of those things where like, again, it's kind of like, don't sleep on the Panini cards. I think they do put out a lot of nice stuff. Uh, and like I said, the 2020 Don Russ is a really cool product with like, just, it's so much fun to rip, but yeah, so this is the, uh, Don Russ. Uh, whammy one I guess one per case yeah case hit um, and the thing is like this is an awesome looking rare card and it's the prices on these are pretty modest uh, because it's panini and there's no licensing so people just aren't as crazy about them but I think that's foolish definitely pick up these whammy cards if you get a chance they're cool and the prices are fairly modest uh, for what they are so Okay, uh, and then the last one I'm going to show you guys today is this uh, awesome Jersey Kings Jackie Robinson relic. And speaking of cool stuff from Panini, so uh, this is, I've had this in my collection a couple years. I don't think I've ever showed it. It's unnumbered, but it's from 2018. Um, and uh, I picked this up at a card shop for like 10 bucks or something. I thought it was just such a steal. I mean, it's a Jackie Robinson uh, game-used uh, jersey swatch. You know, I don't usually like the jersey relics, but with the old-timers, with the vintage fabric, like the wool, man, that is so cool. Uh, so that's kind of my exception. Um, and it's Jackie Robinson uh, jersey patch game-worn. Um, pretty awesome card right there, so... All right, well, that's all for me for today, guys. Uh, stay safe, stay happy. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.